Yo, what's up mga ka-lockdown? So, how's your day? I guess, sobrang boring yan. Ang gagawin kong... So, ang topic ko... Stay safe guys. Sini lang tayo sa bahay natin. Yan. Para tayo makatulong. Hina lang yung paraan natin. Para The second week of home quarantine. So that's why I would like to make this vlog. Hello everything! So, what's up mga, ano, mga ka-lockdown? Here am I again. My name is Van. And I'm going to tackle aircraft bolts. So, oras natin ngayon, 12.16. At maghahanda pa lang ako pumunta sa tindahan namin. Kasi meron pa akong toka doon na gagawin. So, mamaya na lang. Kita na lang tayo. Bye! Ito natin magmas, no? Pag may pupuntahan tayo. Tsaka mag-alcohol na rin tayo. Every time. Hmm? So, yun nga. Tapos na yung gawain ko. Yung talk ako. Sweldo agad. Pupunta na ako sa bahay ngayon. Para gawin na natin itong vlog na to. Bye! Hi! So, since naglalakad lang naman ako pa uwi, kasi wala nang masakyan at wala ring mga tao, magdi-discuss na lang tayo ng aking topic, which is aircraft bolt, nuts, and washer. Uyasan mo ba typically kung mabibili yung mga aircraft bolts, nuts, and washer? nga yung unang pinagtataka ng mga tao saan nga ba nakukuha yung mga aircraft bolts, nuts, and washer saan ba to binibili kung may hardware na pinagbibilan yung mga mga ginagamit na kotulad ng pako mga normal bolts plain bolts, ganon meron rin tayong hardware na for aviation only which is Aircraft hardware. Sa aircraft hardware, kalimitan na nabibili yung mga miscellaneous small items used for aircraft structural repair and manufacture. Nakarating na ako sa bahay. So, yun, dun rin nakukuha yung safe and efficient tools for use in repair. Moving on, aircraft bolts. Ano nga pala yung aircraft bolt? Aircraft bolts is fabricated from cadmium. Cadmium number 48 sa balota. Nani? So cadmium number 48 CD. Typically na sa ano siya transition metal. Bakit cadmium ang ginagamit sa aircraft bolts? Tanong niya, bakit nga ba daw cadmium ang ginagamit? Bakit nga ba kadminyo ang ginagamit natin ang typical yung ginagamit for aircraft bolts? Kadminyum has a characteristic of sacrificial metal. Sacrificial? So, ano nga ba yung meaning nung ganon? Sacrificial pa o sacrificial, sacrificial pa? Just like our frontliners ngayon, sacrificial means parang sinasacrifice niya na yung sarili niya para Instead na yung buong katawan ng balls natin ang magkameron ng corrosion, sinasacrifice na lang yung sarili niya. So just like our frontliners, they are sacrificing their self for the greater economy. Nga bagawa yung ating aircraft balls. So ang common na material ng aircraft balls are balls are made from unplated corrosion resistant steel. Anodized aluminum alloy, alloy steel, aluminum alloy, and titanium. Ba malalaman kung 
ang ginamit sa material ng bolts natin ay titanium, ganun-ganun. Sa aircraft ma manufacturers, gumawa sila ng kulay. Every bolts has, with different materials, have their own colors, coloration, para malaman nyo kung ano nga bang item, ano nga bang material ang ginamit dito. Guys, let's keep in mind that aircraft bolts always have markings on their head. On that, every mark has their own purpose and own material. So, kunwari, one dash mark, ay, ibig sabihin yan, ay corrosion resistant steel yung bolt na yan. Two dash line means aluminum alloy ang ginamit sa bolt na yan. Papakita ko dito yung mga, ano, mga pangkaraniwang mga marking sa kanyang head ng mga bolts. Here, pa dun sa markings at saka sa kulay, meron ring universal standard na ginagamit for aircraft bolts. Ano na naman yung mga universal universal na yan? Alam mo namang ikaw lang naman gusto ko sa universe. Universal accepted method is used to Universal accepted method to identify standards for aircraft hardware. Ang typical yung ginagamit dun, yung tatlo, which is AN, NAS, and MS. AN stands for Army Navy. Nani! So, I am editing my, sh my video. Then, I stop when I hear that AN stands for Army Navy. Well, that's just fake news and AN stands for Air Force Navy. Thank you. MS stands for Military Standard and NAS means for National Aeronautical Space Chairman. <laughs> and to add on that, the abbreviation of bolts may change in different areas. Meron pa! Ano na naman yan? Ano na naman yan? Naman yung mga ano, yung mga types of bolts used for aircraft structure. Tatlong types ito, which is general purpose bolts, close tolerance bolts, and internal wrenching bolts. San nga ba ginagamit yung... <laughs> San nga ba ginagamit yung general purpose bolts? So, from the word itself, general, it is used for general application. YOLO! And typically, tensile loads and shear loads. But on that, general purpose bolts, ang typical niyang material is alloy steel. So, close, tol close tolerance bolts is more accurate than another one. Ito mga manok to. So, close to tolerance bolts are more... Sorry? Close tolerance bolts. Close tolerance bolts are most most accurate than general purpose bolts. Ang close tolerance bolts naman ay meron siyang sign na triangle sa kanyang and is internal wrenching bolts. Internal wrenching bolts has the symbol of a 24-sided shape and it is highly has high strength use suitable for tension and shear loads to bish last na o ngayon iko compare naman natin yung aircraft bolts at saka yung mga bolts na nabibili lang natin sa hardware ano nga ba yung comparison nitong dalawa una na na-discuss ko, um, aircraft bolts always has markings on its head. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga plain bolts lang, kar kar karaniwang yung nakikita ay walang mark sa head. Into the mouth. Just flat surface, katulad mo. Flat. Nice. Char. One, um, air aircraft bolts, mabibili mo lang siya or makukuha mo lang siya sa aircraft hardware while uh, plain bolts pwede mo siyang 
mabili commercially in hardwares around the world. Char. Nod naman ay plain bolts only has 50 to 660k PSI strength while aircraft bolts has 120,000 PSI strength pag AN tapos pag NSA naman ranges from 160 hey, that's pretty good. PSI. But not the least, um, aircraft bolts also has different torque values. So from the use itself, from the classifications, AN, MS, and NAS, NAS magkakaiba yung torque value nila. So, depende pa rin sa mga material na ginagamit. Magkaiba rin yung torque value nila. That's all. So, next topic na kayo. Welcome to my vlog. Um, sorry for my voice. I'm trying to be... Uh, quiet as much as possible because it is already yeah, 147 in the morning stay safe guys stay na lang tayo sa bahay natin yeah, para tayo makatulong yun na lang yung paraan natin para makatulong right now I'm going to explain to you the basic parts of bolts types of bolts and bolts identification so first is parts of bolts so mainly there are two basic parts of bolts the shank and the head head is where you put the spanner so you can tighten or loosen the bolt the second one is the shank shank is divided into two parts uh, the grip length and the thread length so the grip length is mainly accommodates the parts to be assembled and the uh, thread link is where you put the nut so next topic is uh, types of bolts so there are one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight eight types of wow. aircraft bolts so the first bolt tolerance bolt so what is a close tolerance bolt close tolerance bolt is identified by a triangular mark in the head um, usually there are close tolerance bolt that has a dash on the head it means that the bolt is a corrosion resistant bolt one dash mark ay, ibig sabihin yan ay corrosion resistant steel yung bolt na yan. two dash line means aluminum alloy ang ginamit sa bolt na yun. What is the tool used to tighten or loosen a close tolerance bolt? So the tool used to tighten or loosen the bolt is a normal normal wrench, um, usually open end or torque wrench. So next is eye bolt. So eye bolt is a type of a fastener that uses the to tie cables on the because the eye bolt has a loop head on its head where you can tie the cables so this is type of bolt usually used in flight controls this bolt is used to tie the cables the tool used um, to tighten it is a torque torque eye bolt spanner yeah so the next type of bolt is internal wrenching bolt internal wrenching bolt so these bolts are designed for high tension application so this type of bolt is made of 160 to 180 ksi so the k stands for thousand and the SI stands for uh, square inch so it means that this bolt is made up of 160,000 per square inch what is the tool used to to tighten or loosen this uh, fasteners this tool uses hex key or sometimes called as allen wrench the next type of bolt is clevis bolt so 
This ball is used mainly in an area where large shearing stress occurs. This ball is used where in a specific area a large shearing stress occurs. And this tool uses spanner to be tightened or loosened. Set head recess bolt. So torque set head recess bolt. Um, it has four driving wings on the head. Each one offsets the one opposite it. The driving wings is they're not uh, parallel to each other. They offset each other. So, so that when you put the tool, it matches. So what is the tool used? in loose, loosening or tightening this bolt. The tool used here is hex socket screw or commonly known as torx screw. So the spelling of torx is T-O-R-X high torque bolt. So high torque bolt is designed to withstand high torque value. Uh, type, type of bolt is used in an aircraft even if you put high amount of torque value the bolt uh, can withstand it because some bolt um, can't with withstand the high torque value it tends to break the head from the shank the tool used to uh, tighten or loosen this bolt is hydraulic torque wrench external wrenching bolt so external wrenching bolt has a washer face under the head. The purpose of it is to provide an increase of bearing surface. This type of bolt has a 12 point on the head, 12 point um, head. Gives a, what do you call this? A higher grip value so that when you, um, when you use the tool, even if you are applying a high torque, it don't... Okay. Oh. I mean, it don't comes off the head. What is the tool used in external wrenching bolt? So, it, external wrenching bolt uses a 12-point torque wrench. So, take note guys that every bolt has different purposes and every bolt has different tools to be used. Next topic is bolt identifications. In identifying bolts, there are three types of it. First is AN. Before that, uh, bolt identification, you don't usually see this on the bolt itself. Instead, you'll see this on the packaging. When you order the bolt, you'll see the the bolt identification on the, the packaging when you order the bolt. So the first is AN. AN stands for Air Force Navy. It has AN, AN-4. The 4 is the serial number and dash 20. 20 is the grip length and a letter after the number of number 20 sometimes it is it can be a b or other other letter so that letter stands for safety precautions the numbers i've said uh can be changed i mean the four can be a different number the 20 can be a different number the nas nas stands for national aircraft standard bolt so when you see this on the packaging, it usually says there or written there that the uh, NAS 14 usually it uh, it comes first with uh, three digit. So the first two digit uh, stands for the serial number, and the third digit uh, stands for the diameter dash. Uh, 25 means it is the safety uh, provisions so the next uh, bolt identification is the MS so MS stands for military standard bolt 
It is usually written on written on the packaging MS five five digit number. So the first five digit number stands for the serial number dash a letter. So in my example here, yes. In my example there, uh, you can see the letter H. So the H stands for uh, safety provisions. Then it comes after that letter, it comes with a digit which stands for the grip length. So that's it, guys. So time check right now, it is already 2 a.m. and I'm still, I don't know how to sleep, guys. So, yeah, I guess I'll end my vlog here. So that's it. And I'm going to report about aircraft nuts. What is aircraft nuts? Aircraft nut is a type of fastener with a threaded hole. Nuts are almost always used in a conjunction with a mating bolt. Fasten multiple parts together and it can be either be right or left-handed threads. Aircraft nuts are also designed to do a specific job, just like the bolts and are made in a variety of shapes and sizes. What are aircraft nuts made of? Aircraft nuts can be made of cadmium plated carbon steel, stainless steel, or anodized 2024T aluminum alloy. How can we identify an aircraft nut? Aircraft nut has no identifying or lettering appearance. It can only be identified by its characteristic metallic luster or color of the aluminum or brass. What are the two types of aircraft nuts? Aircraft nuts can be divided into two general groups non self blocking and self blocking nuts. Non self blocking nuts are those that must be safe tied by external locking devices, such as color pins, safety wire, or lock nuts. Self blocking nuts contain the locking feature as an integral part. What are the different types of non self blocking nuts? There are several types of non self blocking nuts. Most of the familiar types of nuts, including the plain nut, the castle nut, the castellated shear nut, the plain hex nut, the light hex nut, and the plain check nut. The castle nut or AN310 is used with drilled chunk AN hex head bolts, clevis bolts, eye bolts, drilled head bolts, or studs. It is fairly rugged and can withstand large tension loads. Slot in the nut are designed to accommodate cutter pin or lock wire for seat. The castellated sure nut or AN320 is, is designed for use with devices which are normally subjected to shearing stress only. Like the castle nut, it is castellated for safety. Note however that the nut is not as steep or as strong as the castle nut. Also that the castellation are not as steep as those in the castle nut. The plain hex nut or AN315 and AN335 is a rugged construction. This makes it suitable for carrying large tension loads. However, since it requires an auxiliary locking device such as a check nut or lock washer, it is used on aircraft structure is somewhat limited. The light hex nut, AN340 and AN345 is a much lighter than the plain hex nut and must be locked by an auxiliary devices. It, it is used for miscellaneous light tension requirements. The plain check nut or AN316 is employed as a locking device for plain nuts, set screw threads, rod ends, and other devices. The wing nut or AN350 is intended for use where desired tightness can be obtained with the fingers and where the assembly is frequently removed. Next is what are the types of self locking nuts. The different types of self locking nuts are both self locking nuts, the stainless steel self locking nuts, and the elastic stop nut. Boot self locking nut. The boot self locking nut is of one piece, all metal construction designed to hold tight in spite of severe vibration. As you can see in the picture, 
has two sections and is essential two nuts in one. A locking nut and a load carrying nut. The two sections are connected with the spring which is an integral part of the nut. The spring keeps the locking and loading carrying section such as a distance apart and the two sets of threads are out of place. That is so space that a bolt which has been screwed through the load carrying section must push the locking section outward against the force the spring to engage the threads of the locking section properly. Stainless steel self lock nut. The stainless steel self lock nut may be spun on and locked with the fingers. This locking action takes place only when the nut seated against it, a solid surface and tightened. The nut consists of two parts a case with a beveled locking shoulder and a key and a threaded insert with a locking shoulder and a slotted keyway. Until the nut is tightened, it is spin on the bolt easily because a threaded insert is the proper size for the bolt. However, when the nut is sealed against a sole surface and tightened, the locking shoulder of the insert is pulled downward and threaded against the locking shoulder of the case. This action compresses the threaded in insert and causes it to clench the bolt tightly. Lastly, is elastic stop nut. The elastic stop nut is a standard nut with a height increase to accommodate a fiber locking collar. Every top and durable and is unaffected by immersion in hot or cold water or in ordinary solvent such as either carbon tetrachloride oils and gasoline. It will not damage both thread shocking. As you can see in the picture, the fiber locking collar is not threaded and its inside diameter is smaller than the largest diameter of the threaded portion of the outside diameter of a corresponding bolt. When the nut is screwed onto a bolt, it is up as an ordinary nut until the bolt reaches the fiber collar. When the bolt is screwed into the fiber collar, however, friction or drag causes the fiber to be pushed upward. This creates a heavy downward pressure on the load carrying part and automatically throws the load carrying sides of the nut and bolt threads into positive contact. After the bolt has been forced all the way through the fiber collar, the downward pressure remains constant. This pressure locks and holds the nut securely in place even under severe vibrations. And that's all about the nuts. Thank you. So good morning everyone. I am back with another vlog. So today Currently, I just woke up. It's already 10.30 a.m. in the morning. So, it's the second week of home quarantine. So, that's why I would like to make this vlog to be productive. So, I'll be doing things. And I already posted a poll on Instagram. Ask me there about anything. Anything about me or my life. So the first thing I'll do today is to fix my bed. So let's go. So hi guys, I'm back. Tapos na akong mag-fix ng bed. And the next thing I'll be doing is to eat breakfast. So let's go. So hi guys, I'm currently eating my breakfast. And I'm checking my mails. And my online classes, chine-check ko kung meron ba akong deadline today or kailang submit today. So wala naman, so I'll answer the first question on my poll. It is, what is my full name, age, and where do I live? So I am Felix Clyde Al Marines. My age is 19 years old. I live here in Santa Rosa, Laguna. So. Um, I'll be answering the next question after I eat my breakfast. So the next thing I'll be doing is to freshen up. I'll brush my teeth. So the next question is, Saan ako nag-aaral? What year? And what is my course? So I'm studying in Pats College of Aeronautics in Paranaque. And I'm only first year freshman 
um, studying BSAMT or Aircraft Maintenance and Technology. So I'll just brush my teeth. So hi guys, I'm done to freshen up. So many of you guys were asking why do I not shave my mustache. It's because I'm doing the home no shave home quarantine. I just like to go with the trend. So the next question is, can you discuss anything or anything related to your course? So okay, I'll be discussing about washers. So washer is one of the smallest thing installed in aircraft. So let's go further ado. Aircraft washers. Aircraft washers used in airframe repair are either plain lock or special type washers. What is aircraft washers? It spread loads made out of carbon steel, compensate if the bolt is slightly long, can also be used as spacer, wear pads, preload indicating device, locking device, prevents corrosion, and to minimize vibration. Plain washers. Plain washers, both AN916, AN970, are used under hex nuts. They provide a smooth bearing surface and act as a shim in obtaining correct grip length for both and nut assembly. They are also used to adjust the position of castellated nuts in respect to drilled cutter pinholes in bolts. Lock washers. Lock washers, both AN935 and AN936, are used with machine screws or bolts where the self-locking or castellated type knot is not appropriate. The spring action of the washer provides enough friction to prevent loosening of the knot from vibration. Shakeproof lock washers are round washers designed with tabs or lips that are bent upward across the sides of hex knot or bolt to lock the knot in place. There are various methods of securing lock washers to prevent it from turning, such as an external tab bent downward 90 degrees into the small hole in the face of the unit, or an internal tab which fits a keyed bolt. Special washers is used where a bolt is installed at an angle to a surface, or where perfect alignment with the surface is required. These washers are used together. So that's it guys. Lagi magingat mag alcohol. Goodbye.